Hey everyone, welcome to another day of library and another day of coding. I hope that you've been enjoying Scratch so far and that you enjoy the tutorial from last time. So we're going to move on to another tutorial. It'll be another one of the Scratch tutorials that we're gonna watch together and then I'll work you through an example just to spark some inspiration here. And then you will get a chance to try it out. And same thing as last time, then you're going to share it. Remember sharing means that you're actually publishing it out to everyone to see and copying that link for us and pasting it into the Schoology discussion board. That way we can all see each other's coding projects, learn from each other, and uh, hopefully get some ideas for future projects too. All right, let's go ahead and get started and see what we're gonna focus on today in Scratch. Hi everyone, we're going to be in Scratch again this time around. I love seeing your projects last time. You did such a nice job getting your characters to glide and bounce around the screen. So um, make sure that you are in the Scratch website. So it is scratch.mit.edu. Um, and remember, you can actually bookmark that site. So um, right over here on the side. Uh, this button here, if you click that, you can actually um, add it to your home screen so you can refer to it later. Okay, make sure you are logged in. If you forgot your login, you can look at the file in Schoology called Third Grade uh, Logins. It's alphabetical um, that you can see logins and passwords to Scratch. So working on projects right in here, you can see it says My Stuff. If you want to pull your project from last week or you can click the Create tab to start new. Then it'll take a second to load here. Okay. All right, now um, we're going to go into the tutorials here, just like we did last time. In the tutorial, it looks like a spinning donut here. It's called Make It Spin. Um, if you want to refer to that later, um, I'm actually not going to play it right now just because I'm doing a screen recording, but uh, this is the block that we're using. It's the turn 15 degrees block here. And um, notice when I click on it, what happens to Scratch Cat? We spin it around here. You can also change that 15. You could change it to a smaller number to make Scratch Cat go, go small. Uh, slower here too or I could change it to a bigger number so 70 degrees here you can see how it looks like he's spinning faster okay now another block that they showed was this point in direction 90 meaning 90 degrees uh, so while your character is flipping around here they're gonna be spinning and be upside down but when you uh, tap that point in direction 90 degrees that'll put them right back upright again so uh, that's a useful block to have it's also right here on the screen you can see direction 90 uh, that you could control uh, the direction uh, the degree of your um, sprite as well so in the control here in orange um, there is the repeat 10 there's also the forever so let's put this repeat 10 over it and watch what happens here Change this back to 15 degree there. So that was 10 times, went pretty fast. So I'm gonna change that to a bigger number. Let's see what it looks like with 50. All right, that's a little better. Now I'm gonna attach that point in direction 90 so when it ends, it's right back upright again. Okay, so I'm going to delete out Scratch Cat. I'm ready to start my project now, so I'm going to go into the Sprite button here to choose a different Sprite that I actually want to use since I'm done practicing now. I'm going to choose the Butterfly. We're going to spin in the Butterfly here. Now over here in the Backdrop button, I'm going to click that to choose my backdrop so it's not just white. And I'm going to choose the Blue Sky. Move my Butterfly up here. Okay, so now I'm ready to build my project. Turn 15 degrees and repeat it. Put that repeat block around so it keeps spinning. Get it to point in direction 90. So now I'm gonna adjust these numbers a little bit. We're gonna do it all the way up to 100. Great. Okay, 
So I'm gonna play with the degrees here to get exactly what I want it to, maybe about 25. That looks pretty good. Okay, now sounds. You could also add a sound effect in just to make it fun. Uh, the only one loaded in there, if you look at this block, the play sound pop is just the pop, but uh, this button right down here, that is the sound library that you could pull in some other sounds as well. Um, just to make it a little more interesting. So, okay, so now we need to have a way to start our code. We were just tapping on it to get it to go. So this yellow events block right here, uh, there's lots of different ways to start your code, but this when green flag is clicked is the one that's used most often. Uh, and there's other ones you could use like when the space bar is pressed or when the sprite is clicked. Um, but most often that one, the green flag is clicked. So snap that right on top. And um, whenever we uh, click the green flag or someone visiting my project page clicks that green flag, then it starts. So that's really important to have that because people looking at your project page won't be able to see your code in, um, inside there. So, okay, let's title it. It's called Untitled. So we want to name it something better and interesting. I'm going to typing in butterfly spin right now and hitting that orange share button. And this is the project page that everybody will see. So you can see how many views, you can like it if you want to down here. Um, to copy the link, the copy link button is right here. You could also copy at the top in the browser bar. So let's copy that link and click copy link again. Heading into your library Schoology course here and heading into the appropriate folders week and day. So you're going to see here, watch the scratch spinning tutorial video, and then number two, scratch make it spin project links here. Uh, so it will kind of go over those same directions again, just in case you need to see it. And then this one right here, number five, when finished, type in a title for your title for your project, hit the share button and copy and paste that link. And then I just reminded you here, we are doing a discussion board format so you can share off all the amazing coding you're doing. So feel free to click on each other's links and give feedback as well. So I'm going to head over to discussion here, hit the blue plus. My project is called Butterfly flying and then I'm going to paste the link that I already have stored in there tap and paste and then I hit the green check and there it is my project's called butterfly flying and then when you click on that link it will take you directly to it all right don't hesitate to reach out if you need any help working on this scratch project